Hey, guys, name's Fen. Last time I went into the rat's den, and by rat, I mean guard. This time I'm going to be actually careful and snatch the enemy note, sir. Oh, go, go, we snatched the enemy note, sir. Excellent report to America. Reporting to America, sir. What? I told you I was going to be actually careful. What the heck went wrong? I'm very bad at hearing where those guys are stepping around. I mean, I'm just... My ears. My ears. Oh, there's another book there. But I'm... Yeah, geez, I think I want to hide. And I know just the place. That's right, the back of a Volkswagen. I guess they're walking outside the window as well. Yeah. Well, guards had better be twitchy as hell all the time, or else they're just never going to catch a thief at all. Also, there's a guy standing right up there. Uh, I happen to know that. I know. Also, there's a purse on one of these guys. I happen to know that. Happen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, trying to take this seriously, attempting to do so, but it's a hard. Also, there's a book. Oh, Christ. Ain't dark enough up here. Blah. Okay, seriously, dog. Stop! I'm seriously right in the enemy's den and I need that guy's purse. The Footman's Almanac of Arms and Armour by Ernesto G. Section IX. Stand up, poor arms! Blah, 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 arm plus plus. I guess this is some sort of notation. I really thought it was a programming language. Albeit often regarded with some contempt by the dedicated polearm enthusiast, the humble Beck de Corpa is most efficacious when wielded against plate armor. These subtypes represent transitory forms not clearly classifiable as either morphological or archetype. While the naming conventions are highly variable, it is opponent that the subtypes be kept precisely and accurately delineated. The noble glaive gizarm archetype is a veritable treasure trove of further morphological variety. These variations and accompanying diagrams are listed in Appendix 3. Often mistaken for a blunt instrument, the gentle reader is nevertheless instructed to keep in mind that lucerne hammers are, in fact, representatives of the polar class and are not subject to the customary ecclesiarchic limitations. Oh, well, that's good. I don't like my ecclesias to be limited. Okay, honestly... Tired of you. Jeez. Okay, but yes, there's there's a guy standing here, and, and since I'm so freaking bright, I guess I'll just have to waste the water. Apparently, the water in water arrows never, ever evaporates or something. I don't remember what the word was used in the dark mod. It wasn't evaporated. Maybe it was uh, turns into a fairy and uh, goes. Now you shall have the ability to kill. It definitely doesn't do that. Well, here I am back on the streets, which is the most boring place to be in a mitchin like this. And I do mean mitchin. Oh, hey, it gives me another rope. So, yeah, I like it when you are not required to buy things. Wow, yeah. Uh, Skaki certainly was very influenced by this sort of style in his yonder old mission. Now, hang on. This mission was not designed with New Dark in mind, so little did I know I have been, uh, you know... I've been, uh, you know, I've been, uh, you know, BAD. Yes, those Thief Gold videos were pretty painful, especially the first one where I have a really horrible intro that just drags on. Oh, it makes me want to redo the whole series. <laughs> I'm breathing. Voice your breath, it sounds like a thing. Voice your death, it sounds amusing. Hey, now, this is more what I'm friggin' talking about here. I think I just new darked my way up to that window when I was supposed to use a rope. Oh crap! Offspring of both possible sexes at once? Ho ho ho! Please finish so my comic timing can be great. If you miss one. <laughs> Funny. If you miss one beat, you can just go to the next, probably. I, I do not know anything about it. I just do it. I don't know anything about what I do, I just kind of do it. It's a strange sort of thing. Another strange sort of thing is that, uh, I am a person who, uh, acts like a crazy man on the internet, but in real life, I'm not even crazy enough to walk up to one single person and, uh, ask them for employment or, or anything. <gasps> it's madness. Well then, I can I'm back up at the beginning. What punishment? Hey. No, I'm <gasps> ser serious. I am. Oh yeah, this is the beginning and I completely missed this very first Fisher Price, my first wall over here. I'm gonna rap against it. No, I'm not. Be yourself, Fen. 
Don't be feminin. Yeah, for some reason this the thief just does not inspire seriousness in me anymore. I just I know the technicals too well. Now the dark mod, I kinda don't, so it's thrilling to try to take it seriously sometimes, I guess. I don't, I don't freaking know, and it's thrilling whenever you manage to knock someone out because it took skill and stuff. Anyways, by the decree of the Lady Azumlarg, who name sounds like it's some reversed thing, but really isn't, Warden of Dark Smoke, let it be known that no man or woman nor any child of outside residence is to set foot on the streets of Dark Smoke after the eleventh toll and before cock's crow unless by the lady's personal consent. Those who are in violation of her ladyship's orders shall taste the whip. So yet another lural, it's a curfew. Here's our excuse for there being a challenge. It just has to be that way. Uh, by the decree of the lady amazing, lady of the dark smoke, let it be known that the tithe on wool, lead, wax, oil, and leather shall now be two coppers for the measure. The tithe on glass, amber glean, and white clay shall be one good silver as opposed to a shitty silver. Peddling outside the dark smoke market shall be treated as theft of her ladyship's own due. Wow. Okay, then. By the decree of uh, blah blah blah, let it be known that the trial of the infamous Plant, not plunth as might be expected, is set for the second toll on Morn's Day on the 10th of Recidivus in the year 832. The miscreant is to be judged by her ladyship and thereafter delivered to whichever fate she selects. She's got the fate pre-selector gearbox. It doesn't work today. Afterwards, the honest folk of Dark Smoke may approach her ladyship and ask for justice in their miscellaneous squabbles, etc., as it is customary. The beggars of Dark Smoke, if in possession of a letter of alms, are permitted to attend if they ply their ancient trade with the appropriate discretion. By the decree... <laughs> Ancient trade. <laughs> anyway, by the decree of the Blah, let it be known that her ladyship and her guards are on the lookout for the thief Garrett, formerly known by the false names of Talbot, Messer Johannes, Philby, and no doubt numerous others. Garrett is of nondescript appearance, below average in height, and fond of dull grey clothing. It's black, thank you very much. He is wanted for the murder of a wealthy patrician in Downlock District. Also, below average in height, pfft. participation in pagan conspiracy, the subversion of public order, and several counts of theft. The Lady Azamlarg offers 400 pieces of gold to whoever would bring her definitive proof of this miscreant's demise, or 100 pieces of gold for accurate information on his whereabouts. Let it also be known that whosoever aids or shelters this devious fugitive shall perish like a criminal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, those are two utterances that you can make when things are going badly. I wish I had come up with cleverer things to say to those lines in that text, but I didn't think of them in time. Oh, whoa. Or as you might say, <clears throat> let's try it. Uh-oh. Yeah, because seriously, I, you know, you know, I think that's a very serious thing to utter. Utter. Utter milk. Anyway. Yeah, you're supposed to start climbing. But there, there is something at, there is something near the beginning. I swear, but and I want to get to it because it's really funny. What did you think I was gonna say? But alas, I'm just gonna have to figure it out. Apparently, this mission is huge. Probably so. I mean, I don't remember very much about it. Like I say, I remember uh, bits and pieces of the city, and then I remember the palace because it's memorable in the palace courtyard and stuff. But yeah, it probably is enormous. Oh, I was just up here, was I? Was I? So I came from there. Okay. <laughs> Why are we here? Oh, the search is on. Bam, 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 bam. The search is on. Detect that, robots. Oh, I wish you had a lantern by default in this game. Ah. It <laughs> <laughs> it's always funny when they're cartoonishly big and yet I still didn't find them. Oh, come on! I want to open all these chests. What are you, some kind of absolutely cruel bastard? Not even relatively cruel, but absolutely. You just are. Oh. Oh. No. This is color scheme just like the palace, but it can't possibly be. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Beauregard Estate. Okay. That's... A bit more acceptable. I wouldn't have wanted to be at the end yet. I would have absolutely slaughtered somebody who may or may not be a game designer. No, I do not have violent tendencies, and it is not at all funny or amusing to say so, ever. Just stick a big equal sign on your forehead and uh, use red markers that are really just blue. Hammerite Compendium of the Percepts, the Regimens, and 
The ways of sin and how the righteous should combat it. Yeah, yeah, remember the Vigilance is thy shield or the Compendium of Righteousness. I like them hammers. I also like them pagans, but I like the pagans for real. I only like them hammers intellectually as an interesting race, but obviously they're jerks. Yeah, mm. All of them. Wait, this isn't marble? Yes, it is. Yeah, hmm. You are deaf when you're sleeping. You are deaf when you're sleeping. You are deaf when you're sleeping. Well, I sure hope you are deaf. Robots won't catch that because it's not on you. Yeah, gotta look up for suspicion. I can't whistle, so uh, catch that robot. Oh. And then, turning his attention on the third question, he said, In truth, the treasures are a metaphor. Gold and jewels are not given to thee by the builder, although neither does he shun them if they be acquired by honest pursuits. The treasures of the builder are the spiritual foundations of thy work. Father Dennis contemplated what was said, and at last responded, If such treasures are in our grasp, what could assail this foundation? Let us, my brothers, build a great cathedral in the builder's measures, and fair materials, to stand testament to man's ingenuity and his ascent from the deceptions of the trickster. One of the brothers, the youngest of the initiates, however, warned, Let us not begin this work, for I see a forest of hardship before us, and that forest twists and pitfalls are legion. But Father Dennis rose again, saying, In truth, such may be, but for every tree there is an axe, and for every doubter, just punishment. Which is incredibly harsh. Then was the brother carried away to the courtyard, where the weight of a staff was set on his back thirtyfold. Like I said, harsh. And the other brothers raised stone on stone, with good mortar and sturdy hammer, and the great cathedral of the order was built. And the doubting brother, who carried the stones for his brethren, at last said, Such was my folly when I was young, but where am I to go now that the work is finished, and I am old and grey? And his brothers said, Thou shalt go before our builder, as all men do. The father had set a harsh task for thee, but in secret did he say to us that by the measure of thine atonement virtue was born. And then they buried his frame in rich vestments, and he became the first saint of the order. That is damn good. That is a ripping good time readable. What I'm trying to say is I, I really like that writing. Rich hammer lore and all that. So this is one type of mission, the Thieves Highway kind of exploring through the house type of mission that the gameplay really does make up for me wishing that the visuals were better and stuff. And, uh, you know, it doesn't have to have anything crazy or scripted in it to me. Just like, just gotta be itself. Man, but you know other kinds of missions. I completely judge them harshly and, and wish they would be not themselves Yeah, oh, hey, it's a wizard's tower. This star texture is funny. It's just like a bunch of white dots and blue They didn't spend a lot of money on that one Not a lot of man hours on that one or also woman hours because looking glass had pretty friggin equal gender equal sort of a, a Team crew sort of thing there. You know, it's pretty cool. That was back before it was an over-discussed issue, so yeah. Well, <laughs> looks like, uh, that brother won't be sleeping in that bed. Or the spiders are just very quick. Sometimes they are. Sometimes spiders go like, Durr, here's an automobile. I'm gonna build my web from this. And then the automobile drives away, and the spider's like, What happened? Holy crap, I just have- I'm just so flabbergasted and flummoxed. Oh, wait a minute. I have a key at some point. This is the Beauregard estate. Why is it so hammerful? Oh. And this is that door right there. Why is it so hammerful? I guess, yeah, this guy is, is very pious, which is a strange word. It should be pious, but maybe not. The Prius should be Prius, and also they should seriously make a more exciting car than the Prius with a bigger battery, but they just don't because, lol. <laughs> Toyota, we're lame. Snap, son. Gauntlet thrown. Beef started. Battle begin. Oh, am I rolling? Ah, I'm gonna have to stop saying that. It's already not funny. Oh, crap. Don't you come over here. That's called blocking. Why do we do that? Yeah, well, oh, you. Yeah, why? Yeah, yeah, why? I'm even gonna let you be with the first alert because I'm, you know, impatient. Wow, I wish I could get into all these secret passages. Also, I'm whipping the mouse around. I know this. Friggin' amazing. Uh oh. I'm really gonna have to get rid of you now, I'm pretty sure. So I'm not gonna let you be because. I'm just... 
<laughs> it's just not gonna happen. Good thing your lantern sort of ceased to exist when you fell down. That's pretty good. I like that. There was something special I was supposed to do in the Beauregard's estate. Um, oh yeah, it was to come upstairs and uh, get the thing that this guy was guarding. That must be the nasty old Beauregard guy who is P.S. Yet he's guarding something un-P.S. So I guess he really isn't. P.S. 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 Oh! Yeah, yeah, if I hadn't knocked him out, this would actually be a fun challenge and stuff. But it's like the second team. Oh. <laughs> right. You know, I was suspecting something like that would happen, but... Well... <laughs> okay, so now I gotta sort of backtrack my ass all the way uh, over somewhere because that front door is just gonna leave me out in the street in a guy's face. And I don't want that. However, if I could... Oh, I tried to get up onto there, but I couldn't. Okay. Oh. Hmm, I guess... I guess there's obviously nothing up there, so I don't even know what I'm even fussing about. I would, however, enjoy getting past that guy in the street. I guess the river could be my answer to that. Wow, that is one massive shelf. They must have a lot of things to put on the shelf. Did I go in here? Yeah. You. Right, well, I'm just gonna go into the river then. Yep. Oh, Garrett, no sense of aim. There we are. No problem. I'm guessing this is the same river that I went through right at the start. I'm gonna get that funny secret though. I'm going to. Guess why? Because when I recorded those old video. Wait a minute, this sounds familiar. So I could leap up here. Or, I could just continue down the river until it ends up in the inevitable soggy hell that will be my very existence when it happens. So, I think that last time I probably went through this gate and uh, therein lied my damnation. So this time I'm gonna go up the heavenly toothy grin corridor, getting rid of irritances on the way, I guess. Or something. And by getting rid, I mean hiding from, because this is a stealth game, and we'd be stealthy to just... Just, I don't even know what else you would possibly expect me to do. I mean, seriously, these guys are very mechanical in their turning. Oh, 90 degree angle. Oh, death approaches. Oh, here's a blackjack. I didn't see it. Oh, quoting rice bites will make you successful, so, uh, uh... <clears throat> Rice bites. Yeah, I guess this place is big. I guess it's big. Yeah, I guess this place is pretty big. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. Hey, I like this. Staircase is fancy. It's got a, a ramp on the side. Ramp. That's a, that's a new concept. Wait a minute. I remember this place. I remember stacking up a whole bunch of crates or something to try to climb up there, but really, I, you just got to do it that way or something weird. But that is an awesome place. At least I remember having an awesome old time. <gasps> oh, wait. I remember this and everything. It's all coming back. Oh, I'm remembering all kinds of new things about this mission now. Just suddenly this area is triggering all kinds of memories like a gun. Right pointed into my brain. That's a little dark. Anyways, uh, that's also a little dark. But hey, let's read some. Let's read a girl's diary. We should never read a girl's diary, but you can read a guy's diary because gender is completely to do with everything. Soon after the golden glow of my happiness did envelop my heart, and foolhardy hopes cloud the vision once impeccable, did I lose all that was worth having. How is it then? How is it then? The joys are but a fleeting glimpse, soon born away on the wings of disaster. How? Is it that hopes flee before dark feathers, the bitter omen of things to come? Yet, yet, never did I think the glittering treasures would vanish in the thin air, as surely as he who was to be mine did depart with another. Fate's cruel caress it is, and yet, a final deed is now to be done. Closure to this existence of unfulfillment. Now 
do I cast this unhappy journal out of my window, and with it a worthless life? A last sip of the wines I enjoyed so will aid me to sweeten the final downfall. Sp yeah, anyways, here's some crates. I believe that I stacked. <laughs> also, I believe that there was something special about this place other than that there's a dead woman right there. Seriously, dudes, do not leave your lover unless, of course, she was mistaken and you never liked her in the first place. In that case, obviously, just, you know, freaking do whatever you want. But, but honestly, man, you, you gotta treat a lady correctly, but don't treat a guy correctly because, again, Gender is like super matterful in these statements of treating people well. Oh my freaking god. Hey, it's the bow upgrade. Also, technically, it's sex, not gender, but I'm not gonna say sex on the internet, am I? I'm good. <laughs> people might Google sex and find my Apotheon video. I mean, seriously, <laughs> one of my top searches is Apotheon sex. That's pretty funny. I wonder if there's a sex scene in it. That, that would be awkward. Guess I'll never know. I wanna say one of my top searches. I mean, one of the top things people search for and find my stuff is, I mean, I'm not searching for it. Good lord. My second video is only called Sex and Violence and something else. Yeah, now I'm remembering this is like the big warehouse district with a bunch of warehouses in it. I mean, I, I don't, you know, just in case you weren't quite aware of what was there. It's warehouses. Where are the houses? There. Where are the houses? In place of underwear, it's just like so sexy and erotic, you will get all the unwanted children you could possibly desire. One of these days, I'm gonna start having a good attitude about sexuality, but it's not today. Hmm. Hmm. That's funny. Oh my god, I really, 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 really wish there was a keys, cycle through the keys button in Thief Like the Dark Mod, but wishing isn't going to make anything happen as that dead person has uh, allowed us to notice. My health is a little uh, weird. <laughs> I don't have any healing potions. Fortunately, I got 100% good luck on those little Cracker Jacks there. It's kind of disappointing at first that these doors don't work, but then again, you know, uh, Zealot's Hollow, every area was an area. And it just became overwhelming. As cool as it was, you know, it was just overwhelming. Nope, not taking that because I'm random. Anyways, I think that this could be a dead end for now. I don't know what the heck. Oh, wait a minute. This could actually be the palace I'm vaguely remembering. And I've got a map that I never looked at, despite people screaming at me. Oh, it's... wow. It's, wow, that that is... Large-ish, I gotta say. So I will. It's large-ish! And that is how you speak. Oh, I see another balcony. You know, I thought this area was, like, even more special. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean by special? This looks like a bridge with a key well thing. Yeah, I was doing something with that area when I was trying to climb. Oh, it was that! I was getting up onto that chain! Because... Why not? Okay, so if I want to get there, I gotta get over there. That chain, though. So, I seriously gotta try that again. Yeah, it was really awkward, as you see. But, New Dark is definitely gonna help me with this. Uh oh. <laughs> I reckon. Anyways, yes. You guys could just walk all you want. Yeah, I would have never been able to do that in Old Dark. Freaking guarantee it. I. Oh, really? Oh, you guys. Also, I guess there's no point to get up in the chain. Yeah, I would... Oh, oh, the point is to get up there. Okay, fine. Well, here I just go alerting everybody. All the time. Well, I'll just hide in the darkness till I'm forgotten about. Oh, begin! That means begin. Yeah, okay. Not actually gonna freaking do it. Am I? No. Also, I, you know... Oh, God dang it, how do I get... This is... <laughs> this looks so... Inconvenient awkward. Oh, what the Christ is that other guy? What the hell was his problem? Oh, I really wanted to get that loot up there, but I guess I'll save that for later. For now, <laughs> blast it! Okay, I'm over here now. I'm doing some metal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I say that a lot. Oh, yeah. Because, uh... Oh, God. Hey, you. You. Have this! Yeah, how do you like that? Oh, I bet you don't like that at all. Hey, look at my spinning blood. Ah. Uh, wow, those guys are way more of a bother than they look. Okay. 
quickly. Uh oh. Ah. Okay. 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 Very good upward eyesight. Well, nothing climactic has happened, but I'm almost thinking I should kind of end it off here due to, uh, you know, reasons that just don't exist. But I was thinking this would lead me to the cool place I was thinking, but I guess it doesn't. How the heck do I even... Oh. Well, there's a drunk stumbler. I think that one of my objectives is kind of down there-ish. I want to get kind of over there. Anyways, uh... <laughs> if I could just figure out where I am. So here's at the start. There's the river. I go down the river. I guess I came down to... There. I don't know. Brosius Estate. Awesome. Well, it looks like my time on the roofs is awkwardly just over. Let's try one... Excuse me. Let's try once more <laughs> to get this stuff up here. And... Maybe if I arrange these crates just so, just as a nice, soft, marshmallowy, pillowy landing right about there. I know what you're thinking, Fen. Why don't you just use that body for the body cushioning fall trick? Well, that would just be disrespectful. Are you mad? You guys are getting really, really, really thornful. Yee! That was a thorn right in your face. Go join your dead cistern, which is apparently a word, but not very well used. And you. Well, hello there, spider hanging awkwardly behind my monitor. What looks like an ant? The monitor looks like an ant. I know it's a crazy high tech bros. God damn, man. Put the damn crate to. Oh, yeah, you can do it like that. That might be a bit. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> okay. There we are. And. Let's see if my trap has worked its magic. I don't know about that. Uh. Fah! That's just bloody. It's just bloody. Si well, <laughs> I guess I'll just use an arrow. Got ample. You'd think I was trying to kill myself as well. Seriously. Get. Garrett. Ugh. Gotta retrieve these things. God, is that so much to ask? Yep. Ugh, it's just, uh, I remember this too. <laughs> it was a pain. I can imagine if you were trying to Supreme Ghost and collect back all your equipment and stuff. What you'd do. Jeez. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, I won't be able to get that one, so really this whole thing has been pointless. Anyway, see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye for now.